All facilities and environmental management uh, section activities are depending on our contractors, which is the outsourcing character of the mission. So all our work depends on our contractors and we have to, uh, the implementation of the nature of outsourcing nature is a, uh, is a practice in the mission for the last several years already. So, uh, but we, we do believe in the close cooperation with the contractors and the management and administration for the successful implementation of contractual obligations. Contracts Management Unit within FEMS is responsible for management and administration of all the contracts which fall under the portfolio of FEMS. That's a combination of engineering contracts, supply contracts, CITS, catering, as well as the uh, duty tax-free post exchange, so-called PX, in support of UNSOM, uh, Onsource and Ansom. Once the contract is awarded by procurement section, FEMS will take over of the general management and administration of the contract. This includes organization of the kickoff meetings, which brings together all the parties, the project manager from FEMS, as well as the contractor, where we will discuss the contractual obligations, go through the uh, terms and conditions of the contract, review the NTE, not to exceed uh, amount of the contract, as well as establish the targets which has to be achieved and the KPIs. We issue the task orders for each contract and um, manage real estate, uh, manage uh, budget, as well as the payments for um, invoice processing for all the contracts which are under the portfolio of FMS. Uh, within the contract implementation, uh, contracts Management Unit is organizing con contracts performance meetings. Usually they are held on a monthly basis where we discuss all the issues uh, which occurred during the month, if there are any problems, uh, find out the solutions and to move forward for the successful implementation of the contract. Uh, as well as uh, Contracts Management Unit will be supporting audit uh, uh, support activities with regard to contractual issues and also uh, legal inter intervention in case there is a need. Uh, within the process of the development of FEMS activities, there might be a new requirements which will be coming up. In this case, um, contract management unit together with the project management manager of the uh, section will be initiating uh, new requirements such as drafting scope of works, which will include the new requirements, basic requirements. We will establish the workflow as well as the KPIs, key performance indicators for the upcoming requirements. Later on, the requirement will be submitted to procurement for the new solicitation uh, process. Uh, FEMS portfolio will consist of the contract in engineering uh, field, uh, mostly this is the facilities management. Facilities management contract will be covering Mogadishu as well as all the sectors within Somalia. So we are establishing FEMS uh, representation in all the sectors as well, which will be supporting the facilities management contract. KPIs are the most important part of the contract. As a contract management officer, we pay a lot of attention to reaching the KPIs which are established in the contract and this will lead to the successful implementation of the contractual obligations and which will bring to the better service to our clients.